Hello, thanks for watching another video by CatPaws. This is a follow-up video to my review on the Drinkwell 360 large stainless steel pet drinking fountain. If you haven't watched it yet, here's the link. The purpose of this video is to show you a substitute or an alternative solution to the Drinkwell filters. The sponge filter is used to catch visible debris in your cat's drinking bowl, such as food, dust, or fur. It should be rinsed every 10 days and changed every couple of months. The carbon catches the invisible impurities in the water and helps keep the water tasting fresh. It should also be changed every two months. In this video I'll be using the following materials. A black marker, a pair of scissors, an aquarium foam pad, and a container of activated carbon. The foam pads and the carbon can both be purchased at any aquarium supply store. The first step is to gain access to the carbon. This can be done by removing the top portion of the filter and unscrewing the spout. Inside you will find the carbon filter. I have already modified mine by creating a large gap in the top. This was done by using a very sharp knife and taking away the small bars that keep the carbon within the filter. Empty the carbon by turning it upside down and giving it a few shakes. You might have to run some water through it as well to help get the last few pieces of carbon out of the filter. Next, you're going to want to clean out the inside of that carbon filter. So using a bottle brush, give it a good scrubbing inside. You can use uh, dish soap for this, just make sure to rinse it well afterwards. Remember, this, this example I'm showing you is just one way of recycling your carbon filter. There are carbon filter cartridges that you can purchase for reuse out there as well. Another solution would even be to do away with the white cartridge and wrap carbon within aquarium filter floss and slide it into the black holder. That would work just as well. Next I'm going to refill the filter cartridge with more carbon. It's pretty straightforward. Pour in some new carbon. I usually fill it about halfway. As you can tell that one bottle of carbon will last a very long time. Next you're going to want to rinse the carbon with some cold water. Rinse it for about a minute and that's all that's required for the carbon. Next we're going to move on to the foam filter. Remove the clips on your fountain and then remove the comb. I've left the water in here so you could see how dirty it can actually get after 10 days. Just have a look at how dirty my sponge gets. This will definitely need to be replaced today. Here is another view of the foam pads that I've picked up. They come individually wrapped in plastic. I'm using the Fluval C4 in this example. You're only going to need one of the pads. In fact, you're only going to really use half of the pad. What you're going to do first is cut it down the middle so it's close enough to even on both sides. It doesn't have to be exact. And then you're going to cut each of those in half again. So this brand I'm using is the perfect size for what I'm trying to do here with the fountain. You don't want it to be any smaller or any larger. This is the perfect size. So the next thing we need to do here is cut out a space for the pump. So take your pump and place it roughly in the center of the pad. Now using that black marker, put a small dot on each corner. This is going to outline where we're going to 
cut out the sponge so that the the pump will fit right through the middle. I usually cut a little bit on the inside so it fits pretty snug. The uh, foam will always stretch a little bit so it's better to have it a little bit too small than too big. And just do the exact same thing with the other sponge. Give the sponges a good rinse after you're finished cutting them. This will help get rid of any small particles of sponge that are left over and unwanted during the cutting process. Here is a comparison of how the sponge looks when it's clean versus when it's dirty. After two months, yeah, it does get pretty dirty. I hope that you found this video informative in finding alternative solutions to the Drinkwell sponge and carbon filters. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.